What is like the one thing that you thought about the industry before you got into it that you found out to be like absolutely not true? Oh, that's a good question. I'll have to think about that one. Um, well, I guess that maybe everyone is like, oh, I, I know. Well, I guess I know there's a lot of predisposition post like things that people think like oh everyone in porn has like issues or everyone has problems and like they're like chose this because they had to because I know my family personally was like why did you do this like was this like they thought it was like my last option or something you know what I mean and I was like no like I, I feel like that's what a lot of people think not myself but just in general a lot of people so like I realized coming into this that's not true like a lot of people do this job because they love it not because they got put in a hard situation and they were forced to do it or like, because, um, you know, they feel like it's their only way to get fulfillment or something like, no, it's because they really just in genuinely enjoy pleasing people and pleasing themselves at the same time. So it's like, I don't know, like it, that's, I feel like that's a big thing. Like not all of us have issues or all of us are like crazy people that, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like a lot of people have met me and then they're like, you're not what I expected you to be like. I've heard that so many times in my life. And I'm just like, well, what did you expect? I'm like, what did you already like what could you have possibly thought about me like from my job like you know what I mean like oh my cat's making me guess oh believe me I'm I'm watching your cat <laughs> made me laugh the minute he came on screen <laughs> it's like don't mind me I'm just making my bed over here <laughs> yeah exactly um but yeah so it's just like I feel like uh, that's one of the big things like there's a lot of just genuinely good normal people here that are just here to have a good time and not uh you know put their problems out there into the world. But I mean, at the, on the same coin, there are people who, you know, do do this for the wrong reasons and do have um, issues or whatever. But I mean, that's anywhere in life, you know? So. Yeah, yeah exactly. I think you're absolutely right. There's definitely people in this industry that shouldn't be in it, but there's also a lot of people in this industry that this is like the perfect job for them. Absolutely. You know, and that's kind of part of the reason I wanted to start this podcast. Cause I wanted to like show the world that, like there are, you know, porn is full of all kinds of different people. And there's a lot of wonderful people in this industry who have found empowerment through doing porn and financial stability and, and, you know, a whole community that aligns with how they feel about sex in the world. And it, it's, it's kind of like a little family, you know, and it's, absolutely it's, it can be really nice. So, but you're right. There are people also too, who, you know, it doesn't, it just doesn't make sense for. And I personally wish that for those people, they didn't have to deal with the stigma that they face, you know, trying to get out of it because that, that, that's what really breaks my heart is when people yeah. come into, and, cause it's like one thing, if you come into, you start doing some kind of job and you like realize this is not for me. Like, I don't know, you become a fucking accountant. You're yeah, like, this yeah. is bullshit. You know, yeah, like yeah. I hate, job. This is not for me. This sucks. Like I hate my boss. I hate the hours, whatever. And for so sure. you leave accounting and then you go become an insurance salesperson and that works for you, whatever. Yeah. The thing is the people at the insurance sales person, insurance sales <laughs> insurance company isn't going to not hire you because you're an accountant once. Yeah. Right. Okay. But if you work in porn, that stigma can follow you. And a lot of times when girls try to get out of the industry and do something else with their life, they get blacklisted because of, because of their porn background. Without a doubt. Uh, I feel really sad about that because it's like, um, I even like before this, I wanted to be a teacher. And so like, so did I. <laughs> really, that's so funny. Um, I, I thought like, cause I really love kids. And like, I feel like if I have to spend the day with somebody all day, I would rather it be like little fun, little kids, you know, like mm -hmm. not like adults who are like freaking being mean and telling me what to do and stuff. But I mean like that, that's not all jobs, but some jobs it's like that. And so like, um, I, I feel that though, because I know, like I've seen on the news and stuff, like people who are teachers or educators and they ended up getting outed on like their past for having like some kind of a uh, porn industry past or either like they have an OnlyFans or something and then they get fired from their job because of that. And I'm just like, well, I mean, hopefully our future is changing. Like people are becoming more open-minded towards that idea and realizing that sex work is not, um, this terrible thing that should be like, you know, looked down upon. But, um, I, I totally feel what you're saying on that. I think it's terrible that a lot of these girls, they don't, they feel like they have nowhere to go after this and they feel like they're stuck here. Um, 
So that's super unfortunate. But I, like I said, I really feel like our future is changing. And as the older people that have the more outdated mindset are, you know, moving on, <laughs> we're, we're getting these new people who are realizing, you know, like people are people, humans are humans. Like, um, you know, there's good people that are teachers and there's bad people that are teachers and there's good people that are important. There's bad people that are important. You know what I mean? Like they're just because your career doesn't signify everything you represent as a whole. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a single episode and go check out all the other videos. I film every single one of my podcasts. And if you want to listen to the audio version, I'm on iTunes and all the other podcast platforms. Visit hollyrandallunfiltered.com to find out more.